Alright guys, part two of the vlog. Just woke up. It's raining. It's really bad. Last night, man, there's rat <laughs> there's rats in here, there's spiders, stuff everywhere. I swear I hear another one, but they're really small so you can't see them. But there's rats and stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to practice, but it's brightening and lightning and so we're just chilling and waiting on it to stop, which it probably won't, and we'll probably get struck to death and die, and then the vlog will end a little early, guys, so sorry if that happened. What are you eating? A Crustable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sponsored by Crustable <laughs> Sandwiches. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not. I should be, though. I eat nothing but Crustables. <laughs> at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Honestly, it's really light out for 6 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Got a monster. Boy, a monster. I just lose it. <laughs> Alright, guys. I don't know how much I want to be able to vlog today. Um, because of the rain. But. I'm sitting here filming, you loser. I'm putting that in, too. But, because of the rain, it's just really crazy, so. And this isn't waterproof for this one, so. Probably once we get off the water, I'll give you guys an update. So, you are now listening to a Nesky Beats production. everything out um, getting the boat cleaned up respooling some of my poles getting all the baits tied on yeah and that's about it we'll get back to you once we have everything tied on what are you doing what am I doing not you yeah. <laughs> what are you doing tell the camera <laughs> I'm just helping you wake up tell <laughs> Tell the camera what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you tying on? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm talking to the like ghost. It's not gonna be out until after the tournament, so you can you can say what you're tying on. Um, jigs. I'm pretty much everything that's a need for more tying on because all we use is what I had on today. What you But need? I'm replacing this with a swivel head like He's you had on. And I'm gonna put like Wait, a fine what? frog or something on. Swivel, uh, the wobble head. Wobble head, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have a jig on. Have, have on two a tight. trick stick and a chatter bait with a cane thumper trailer and a red rattle trap. I got a chatter bait on. Um, the one I make. I kick in their bass beats. Kick in their bass beats. Wobble head with a little um, rage crawl. I know it's hard to see out here with a rage crawl on it. Um, Chattahoochee jigs. Got one of those tied on. Then my last bait. I just have a little red eye shad rattle trap um, just for reaction bite. So only about four poles that I'm really going to key down on. We have a lot more in the rod locker. 
but for the most part, those four baits should be all I need. Um, especially the wobble head, so it was doing pretty good to this. Thought I'd do a little vlog video. Um, Laura Ann and her mom already went up to get everything ready for the tournament. Um, we're getting everything packed up, even the hotel. Um, here's all the GoPro stuff. Over here, I'm about to get set that up on the boat, just took the cover off. Everything's pretty much packed up. We're ready to go. <laughs> Coming at you live from Lake Gunnersville. So tell us what you got going on, kicking their ass, TV. Bash are kicking my ass. <laughs> it's too, it's too windy. Dude, we don't have any fish right now. We just, we hit most of the spots that we hit yesterday that produced. And just nothing really, for the most part. Which is really tough right now. We looked on, what is it called, the bass track? And a lot of the pros don't even have a fish right now. I guess the conditions yesterday with all the rain just changed it up a lot. Um, right now I'm just throwing a chatter bait. in the bag. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you come back and revisit it one more time, but then over there. What's your name, sir? Anybody know Borden and Borden or Grace and Phil? He runs Bridges. Hey, Borden. Hey, Borden. Hey, just wait a minute, Sam. What's up, guys? Just got done with the tournament here with LA. Um, we only have four fish. We had a good time. We had a great time. Yesterday, practice was way better. We caught some big fish. We really didn't kill the holes or anything we kind of just backed off but today was just the conditions were totally different yeah she caught two fish i caught two fish so we both put in teamwork all the way um you can't do good in every tournament guys it's just how it is and fishing you can't really control it it's not like baseball or any other sport so i mean you're not gonna win every tournament but we sure had a blast yeah and in my opinion that's better than winning um if we went out there and didn't talk and won the tournament. I mean, I'd rather have a blast. Yeah, exactly. It was a lot of fun. First time we fished with each other, so we'll probably be doing some more tournaments. Um, we'll probably go down to Lanier. And I'll try to make um, make a video. I'm not sure if I am. I might just add it to the vlog. But if the footage is good, I'll make a video for you guys. That's not so. I'll see if you can say anything. Um, one message to all you people. Noah Pascali is a great guy, and I really enjoyed fishing with him, and I think he enjoyed fishing with me, and overall, I know he's already said it, but have fun while you're fishing. Don't try to make it just competitive, just you don't even like talk the whole entire time, and you're just miserable the whole time, and you're just focused on that one thing. If you goof off a little, compete with each other. Be competitive. Like we're always mm -hmm. competing at like around I have with each other. Fish, joking around. Fish. Blaring music. Yes, blaring music. <laughs> Dancing. Oh, and playing music in the boat does not affect the fish. Yeah, we learned that today. We learned that. Like five and times. yesterday. Yesterday we really learned that. Fish were hitting out the boat. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter. Yep. So. As long as it's not too long. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Special thanks to um everybody who put this on. It was a charity tournament. Um really great event. 
a decent amount of people show up. Um, I'm sure they raise a lot of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. The um, Outdoor Ability Foundation probably did really good today. We had like a lot of the Garndell anglers and we had some adults and dads and moms and kids. It's great to like see kids in tournaments like these because when I was little I never got opportunities to really do tournaments. I did a tournament every now and then, but if I would have started doing tournament fishing earlier I would have been in this joint a whole lot longer ago. So yeah guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed the vlog. See you guys next time. Lauren Fushi out. Boom. What's up guys? Um, this is Sunday morning. I just want to do a little sign out video um, and say one last thing. While I'm at home and I went to bed like at 3.30 last night and I haven't slept in like days. I went to bed like at 3.30, woke up like at 9. Um, I went to bed so late because I was working on these videos for you guys. I really wanted to get it out today, which is Sunday. Um, if you haven't seen part one, at the end of this clip, I'll leave a link. So there's two parts. Part one was from Thursday, and part two, which is this video, is from Friday and Saturday, um, pre-fishing in the tournament. So a couple things. Um, Lori Ann, she's an awesome angler. She was really fun to hang around with, and definitely we're going to be fishing some more tournaments. We do not live in the same state, unfortunately. She lives in Alabama. I'm in Georgia, so it's kind of hard for us to get out and fish, but it was the first time fishing with her. She's a really great fisherman, um, really fun to hang around, and we just had a complete blast, guys. So I'm sure we're going to have um, another tournament, me and her, and we'll be fishing some soon. We'll, we'll, we'll probably fish one on Lanier, so that'd be a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't already, go check her pages out. I'll leave her links below. And for everyone posting hateful comments on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that, not just for me, I'm talking about her too. Think before you comment, guys. It's not the smartest thing to do, especially when she had a family problem. I'm not going to go into details. Um... She had a family problem when we were out of town, and she was all upset and everything, and then people are posting hateful comments about it. it. It just doesn't add up, guys. It's not right. It's not the right thing to do. Um, you're just going to sit there and post hateful stuff on social media. It makes no sense to me. Um, I'm not the person to hate like that, um, but I just told her as social media grows, it's just you're going to get more haters, and that's just how it is. And if you have haters, you're doing something right. So, like I said, if you haven't checked out her pages, go check them out. She's kind of a big deal. We were talking to it. We were talking to him. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. I'm standing here with the master of Kicking Their Bass TV. You are the master, right? Hey, the master. Uh, Lake Gunnersville, Catching Giants. Want to say hi. Good luck this year. And remember, never give up.